This is Tred from ProView Sports, where we're at the pit where the men's basketball program just finished celebrating senior night against the Fresno State Bulldogs. The teams and the fans celebrated seniors Antonio Jackson, Joe Firstinger, and Sam Logwood. It was a slow start for the seniors and the team to begin, but it was balanced scoring for both teams. In fact, there were eight minutes of trading baskets, and it wasn't until 11.52 left in the first half until Fresno State got the first two baskets. However, UNM would answer right back as Anthony Mathis and Troy Simons both hit threes to cap off a 6-0 run for UNM. This made the crowd a little bit easy as I felt they were restless early. And while it was senior night, it might as well have been Anthony Mathis night, as in the first half he had 11 points, going a perfect 4 of 4 from the field, including 3 of 3 from behind the arc. Seniors Sam Logwood and Joe Firstinger had the play of the half, if not the day, when Joe Firstinger starts it with a steal, and Sam Logwood is able to throw down the alley oop. Anthony Mathis would hit a three the next time down the floor and give the Lobos a 12-point lead with 2.42 left in the first half. However, Fresno would answer right back with a 7-0 run of their own, and that would make the score 39-34 Lobos at the half. While Fresno finished the first half on a strong run, it was the Lobos that started the second half on a strong run. They were able to increase the lead to 14 after Joe Firstinger take and Sam Logwood puts Carter from Fresno State through the spin cycle and finishes with 14 minutes left. 14 point lead, 14 minutes left. Lobo fans, you know what's about to happen. That's right, a Fresno State run. It was 8-0 run in a minute and 12, including two UNM turnovers and three in two minutes. It was a 10-0 run in a minute 42, and they got to within four points with just under 12 minutes left in the game. However, Anthony Mathis continued his hot streak as he would hit a three, get a steal on the inbound, and then hit another three for a 6-0 run of his own in about 12 seconds, and that brought the lead back up to 12. And when Deshaun Taylor left the game with six minutes left, he had 20 points for the Bulldogs, including six of nine shooting and seven of eight from the free throw line. But when one Taylor goes down, you gotta call your spare Taylor, and that is when Jamel Taylor took over as he scored 15 of his 23 points. And even though Taylor was going off, it was Troy Simons who put Lobos fans at ease for a minute, as at the four minute mark, he hit a three. Jamel Taylor would answer back with two consecutive buckets, making the Lobo lead just five points with two minutes to go. Anthony Mathis would extend that lead with the floater that it was as perfect as his shot chart up to this point, making it seven point lead with 1.38 to go. That is when everything crumbled for the hometown Lobos. After some terrible possessions from UNM that led to turnovers and bad shots, it was Jamel Taylor hitting a three with 10 seconds left to tie the game. Coach Paul Weir would drop a set for, at this point, the perfect Mathis, but unfortunately, his take to the rim does not go, and we head to overtime, 81-81. While most people know overtime as OT, this session might as well have been called FT as it came, became a free throw shooting contest. And fortunately for Lobo fans, they did not miss from the stripe, while Fresno State had some lapses and some turnovers. With under a minute to go, Jamel Taylor would miss two free throws. McNeil for the Lobos would hit two to put them up seven, and Fresno State would not score again, as the Lobos were able to pull away and win the game. After the game, the Lobos honored seniors Jackson, Firstinger, and Logwood. With this game not only being senior night, but also the Mountain West regular season finale, we now know that the Lobos finished the regular season as the three seed, which is important for two reasons. One, they only have to play three games in three days rather than four games in four days. And the three seeds puts them opposite of the number one seed, meaning they wouldn't have to play Nevada, who they lost to earlier this year, until the championship round if they get that far. Be sure to check next week the Mountain West Conference Tournament and check out the action for yourself. From the pit, this has been Tread from ProView Sports.